They're hard to miss around Metro Vancouver. Canada geese, gaggles of them, crowding parks, beaches, the seawall, and even the streets. So why are these iconic birds always flocking around our public spaces? <laughs> Urban biodiversity planner Jennifer Ray Pierce says goose populations were actually reintroduced to Metro Vancouver in the 1970s for hunting and consumption. However, unlike their native cousins, these geese don't migrate, and they like our parks and beaches just as much as we do. The main reason is that geese enjoy a lot of the same habitat features that people do. So nice uh, low-cut lawns, sloping, uh, gently sloping areas with little ponds are just perfect for geese. There are no exact numbers on the number of geese that live here year-round, but Pierce estimates the number could be higher than 2,600, and that amount of geese feeding and living in the city leads to a lot of poop. So Canada geese do produce more poop in volume for the amount of food that they eat than most species do. It's just because their digestive system is not very efficient. And what about all that waste getting into our water? Pierce says not to worry about it. People are always concerned about the impacts of goose species on water quality, and particularly as E. coli numbers are sometimes reported as being at unsafe levels. Um, but actually what's been found is that even in areas where geese are physically relocated, the E. coli numbers don't change in any me real measurable way. So the thinking is that the E. coli source is not primarily geese, but something else. So what is the city doing to keep them under control? <laughs> So the primary management technique that's used right now in Vancouver is called egg addling. And that's where shortly after the eggs are laid, they're sterilized. The other techniques that work really well is changing the landscape so that it's not as desirable of a place for geese by introducing more shrubbery um, or even temporary fencing around water bodies can help in particular high traffic areas. Some BC cities are also looking at allowing goose hunting permits to tame the population, because if you didn't know before, the Canada goose is, in fact, edible.